Okay, this uh, quick video is in response to um, uh, a few questions that have been asked on social media in particular about um, these micro SDX, uh, micro SDRs that uh, work for a few hours, maybe a day, and then uh, the audio disappears completely or it disappears the fact that you've only got like um, a white noise. Uh, it's traced down to uh, the voltage regulator and um, the regulator being set to 12 volts, not 5 volts. That's the best way to explain it. And a few people said, well, where is this and how is this and who is this? etc so i thought i'd um i'm gonna probably regret this because i'm probably gonna break things but uh i thought i'd um show you what it does is apparently is it blows the um uh the op amp and i think the multiplexer chips are also damaged by the 12 volts so uh a lot of these radios will now already be um fixed prior to leaving the factory it was a known fault and i think it's probably um it's probably fixed now so it really depends where you get your radio from whether this has been done or not okay on the front panel you've got four hex uh or allen screws um i think they're about three millimeter so you need to undo them on the front you need to undo them on the back um, I've already pre-loosened these, uh, so just for speed. Okay, a word of warning, when you open this radio up, there is a ribbon cable in there that is very, very easy to tear. So if you're not au fait uh, with these um, types of ribbon cables, uh, just be aware, you can uh, destroy the radio in short order and... Um, you know, you, you do this sort of thing at uh, your own risk. I think maybe this screw was in slightly uh, an angle. But, uh, yeah, use the correct tools. Don't try and jam crosshead screwdrivers, etc. in there. Um, the other thing to do, this is BNC. Not too sure uh, if they're all, you know, like some are BNC, some are SMA. I don't think uh, any are PL259 or SO259. So, plate off, radio, slides out the front. I uh, say so at this point, you know, don't be ham-fisted. Don't get heavy-handed or clever with it or anything like that. So there's, uh, there's the radio. Now, this chip, unfortunately, isn't... Um, isn't facing you so we need to undo uh, a few screws this is the low pass filter board that side's got all of the uh, SMAs etc there are the three RF output transistors um, while well, they are a 170s a BS 170s there and there is the position there for the um, IRF uh, 530 MOSFET uh, some people, you know, uh, are talking about replacing um, uh, some of the transistors with the bigger MOSFET. Give you more power. Personally, it's a QRP rig. And why would you want more power? If you want more power, uh, put your QRP into a small um, linear amplifier and um, do it that way. That, that, that would be my, my suggestion anyway. So we undo these three screws and that will release the um, low pass filter board. Now where you've got to be careful, where you have to be careful, as I say, there is a ribbon cable. And if I can try to film as well as... Um, Remove it. I didn't undo that screw fully, did I? Okay. That wasn't that side, was it? So I've got my empty head on today. Yeah. Well, knowing my luck, I've um, <laughs> undone the wrong screws from the wrong side. Anyway, come on. There we go. And it unplugs. Obviously, do not bend those pins. Okay, there's your low pass filter board uh, with the um, RF stages, etc. Uh, 
put that carefully to one side. And here on this board, on the inside, you've got the speaker, the internal speaker, and there, there is, let me just gather some light on that, that's a bit dim. Um, there is your uh, regulator chip that we've just been talking about. And this one was already done from the factory. But uh, can we see that without too much glare? Right, so. But there it is. It won't focus, will it? But uh, it's upside down. So on the bottom it says 12 volts upside down, on the top it says 5 volts upside down, and it was already done at the factory. Let's, uh, let's turn that round. This is the ribbon cable, by the way, that I was talking about. You know, they're so easy to tear away from these sockets, and uh, if you ruin it, then uh, you're in a world of heartache trying to get it all back together. But... Uh, all that, all that focus, I don't know. But anyway, that there is a, a solder blob. And my solder blob goes between common and 5 volts. Um, the, as I say, the, uh, where are we? There we go. There. My mine is between five volts and common. Uh, uh, you know, if it's on twelve volts and common, then um, expect issues. I, I I mean, I'm not saying that you should be taking your radio apart. I'm not saying you know that uh, all radios will need the uh, modification doing. I think um, it's pretty well known now that you know from the factory, they seem to be uh, done. But uh, my one's only a few weeks old. At least took a few weeks to get to me. I've had it a few weeks. Took a few weeks to get to me. So the manufacturing date, um, I'm sure, uh, goes back uh, maybe a few months at, at least. Anyway, I'm going to put this back together now without uh, the, the encumbrance of a camera, etc. in front of me. And then I'm going to give it a quick check just to make sure I haven't dislodged anything. But uh, that's how easy they come apart. They can be a little bit fragile and, um, you know, not for the faint-hearted if it's not something that you're used to. But otherwise, you know, if you want to check, then uh, you can see how easy they come to part. And, and they will go back together just as easy. Just be very slow, very methodical and a delicate hand. And you'll find you'll have no problems whatsoever. This is only the second time I've had it apart. And I've got no interest in taking it apart for a third time. So, uh I wish you all the best and um, enjoy your SDX-SDR radio. I've been having a lot of fun with mine.